This is the integral from 0 to pi over 4. We have 1 plus cosine squared theta on the top, all over cosine squared theta on the denominator, d theta. Well, how can we do this? Luckily, we only have one thing on the denominator, and we can just try to split the fractions to see what can we do. OK, so right here we have integral from 0 to pi over 4. And then let me just split fractions. So we have 1 over cosine squared theta. And then plus, the second fraction will be cosine squared theta over the same denominator, which is cosine squared theta. And we are still talking about d theta. What's this? What's 1 over cosine squared theta? That's secant squared theta. So in other words, we are talking about the integral from 0 to pi over 4. This is secant squared theta plus, what's this? This is just 1. And then we have d theta for that. And now what we can do? What, what can we do? Well, we can do the antiderivative now. Because you can just ask yourself, the derivative of what will give you secant squared theta? And the answer for that will be tangent. This will be tangent theta. How about plus 1? In the theta world, the derivative of what will be 1? Well, the answer for that will be just theta. So we have tangent theta plus theta. That's it. That's the entire derivative. You don't need to worry about the plus c because we have these numbers. All right, we are going to plug in numbers now. So it goes from 0 to pi over 4. So plug in the pi over 4 first. We are looking at this as tangent of pi over 4 plus pi over 4 into theta. Like this. This is the first one. And then we are going to subtract plugging 0 into all the theta. So we have tangent 0 plus 0. Right? Tangent 0 plus 0. Tangent 0 is 0 plus 0. All this is going to be 0. So that's gone. Doesn't really matter. And now what's tangent pi over 4? Tangent pi over 4 is just 1. So here we have 1. And here we have what? Pi over 4. And this is OK. This is totally fine with, for the answer. So 1 plus pi over 4. You can just box this for the answer. That's it.